11th of March 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a pandemic due to the rapid increase of cases all around the globe. This little virus has become one of the deadliest entities in the past decade, creating millions of deaths in just a couple of months. But what makes this 60 to 140 nanometer virus very dangerous to humankind? Well, virus itself is a dangerous being. So what happens when you combine a virus and the ability to control immune cells? The answer, a recipe for disaster. This is the cytokine storm. But firstly, what is cytokine itself? Cytokine is a small protein released by many different cells, including those of the immune system. Their functions as a media to communicate or coordinate in response against infection and trigger inflammation. In a cytokine storm, COVID-19 overproduces the cytokines, causing our own immune system to go on a fighting frenzy, resulting in an excessive inflammatory response and damage to the lung tissues. This is demonstrated by a retrospective analysis that shows initial plasma levels of interleukin, interferon, and other kinds of cytokine are increasing COVID-19 patients. Two immune cells specifically that wreak havoc are neutrophils and T cells. In this scenario, neutrophils or produce enzymes that kills allies as much as enemies, and killer T cells become more active in order to either healthy or infected cells to commit suicide. This then could lead to more severe outcomes such as pneumonia, which worsens the prognosis in COVID-19. Recently, a theory to cure COVID-19 has been tested in Anhui, China, using a drug named tocilizumab, which targets one of the infected cytokines called interleukin-6. This test resulted in improvement of respiratory functions and rapid fever control in 21 patients with severe COVID-19. This indicates the possibility of using anti-inflammatory strategies to treat COVID-19 patients. Another theory said that chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine are the key to cure COVID-19 due to the fact that these agents are thought to exert antiviral activities via multiple mechanisms. In a nutshell, one of the mechanisms is by blocking virus receptor binding and cell entry, resulting in the virus not able to invade the cell. Until now, medics all around the world are working tirelessly in order to find a cure to this menacing disease, and it is our job to, to provide all the support they need. Remember that the way this pandemic works is on our hands, literally and figuratively. Thank you so much for watching, stay home, and stay safe.